Hmm. You hear that? Huh. That's the sound of improving an old design from the 70s. Actually, wait, this might be 80s. I don't know. But this is a power adapter for a Coolatron powered cooler. <laughs> <laughs> That's like a piezo element, it exchanges the heat and the cold, and, you know, lets you bring it down, from, I think it's like 40 degrees below ambient. But, so, when they sold these units, they either give you the option of buying their power supply, or they just tell you to hook it up to, like, a car battery charger, because car battery charger will do 12 volt and be able to pump out 6 amps or more pretty easily. But, you know, you think you get the one from the factory, it would be... You know, ideally, you could have it for extended use. The thing is, the design that they had this with had no cooling in mind. It has some slats in the unit, but otherwise, they just kind of relied on you weren't using it that much. And even if you did, it just thermal throttled itself and shut off automatically when it got too hot. But, like, <laughs> they even tell you, keep adapter well ventilated and it will feel warm to the touch. But I can assure you, especially this back plate, because it's like a diode, it gets, like, Send your skin hot, or it would. Now, the noise you're hearing is my attempt at fixing this problem. It's an octofan, a thin one. I think it's like a 90 millimeter one. It happens to fit perfectly in the frame. A little bit of hot glue to keep it in place. Ain't going anywhere. And now you're sending air across that massive transformer, which also looks very old and is why I didn't want to touch anything to do with the wiring to that. And instead, I have to go to the capacitor which is also massive and probably kind of dangerous to touch but you know it, <laughs> it it we know it's 12 volts coming off of this and it powers the fan just fine i don't know what that plate in the back is so you electro engineers you could probably voice what exactly that's supposed to be but a lot of heat comes off of it so maybe another improvement would be to put like a heat sink on this but at least with the fan blowing across it, everything in there it helps keep the temperature a lot better and even though you probably shouldn't be on the capacitor, because then that's a constant draw, you also have an LED that's a constant draw. And it kind of helps ensure that you discharge the capacitor. So <laughs> that might be a good thing. But yeah, a little improvement. And uh, as you saw, it doesn't affect the function of the fan any. You just slide that sucker on. And yeah, it pulls right through these louvers and blows air out of these louvers. And there's also the bottom if you lift it up, but I don't want to touch it right yet. Especially without the case secure. But yeah, need a little life hack if you have this. I don't think many people do, but cooling is your friend.